Everybody, Father Peter here. Thank you for joining in on this weekly update. Just want to say a few things about our life together. We are on the verge of Palm Sunday and Holy Week, and I want to frame all of that for you. I wish I could see you face to face, but not yet. But I so appreciate all of you who are tuning in to our videos and to our streaming. Sunday mornings at nine, Sundays with Mike, Mike Handler, that is, the Emergency Management Director, have been really a wonderful offering for the whole community. Last Sunday, over 500 people joined in to hear that question and answer period with Mike. We're going to do it again this Sunday. Also, I'm so grateful to all of you who are streaming our services. Last Sunday, uh, over 550 people joined in on the stream, and I'm grateful to so many of you who have had your brothers and cousins join in. I, I, get, I get texts uh, from people in faraway places saying we're so much enjoying the Sunday services. This Sunday is Palm Sunday, a very, very important Sunday for us all. We have many, many beautiful offerings, and I hope you'll tune in. I do want you to know there are three things in particular that you're going to love. One is we're going to sing two verses of all glory, laud, and honor, and hope that you'll sing that at home too. Our maestro, Ned, laid down the musical tract and sent it out to the four section leaders. They each sang in their places, sent it back to him. He's put that music together. It sounds just fantastic. The second thing is we're going to do the reading of the Passion. The reading of the Passion is going to be done by your brothers and sisters in Christ, and it's going to come to you a little bit in the Brady Bunch Zoom format. I've seen a piece of it. It is brilliant. Come watch and be moved by it. The third thing is, after the sermon, we're all uh, going to take a look at and hear the beautiful voice of Mary Noonan singing, When I Survey the Wondrous Cross. And I just want you to know, oh, it is really a moving piece that, that Ned and Mary and uh, our, our maestro of the video, Rob Schwartz, have put together. There is one thing that may be disappointing to you, is that there will be no palms on this Palm Sunday. Uh, the Right Reverend Ian Douglas, our bishop, has really strongly suggested that we should not be sharing anything. Just a word about Holy Week to get this uh, into, your, uh, into your calendars. So on Holy Week, there are many, many options. The first is that every day you will be receiving an email from us for the daily readings of the, and I suggest that you follow along with those readings. You can also daily plug into, of course, the morning prayer, which is at 8.30 in the morning. The services of the Triduum, our high holy days, are going to be as follows. Thursday night, Monday, Thursday, 7 o'clock. And then we're going to have the all-night vigil. The camera will stay on the reserve sacrament. You can join in during that whole evening and see the sacrament and the candle burning. I hope you will join in on that vigil. You can even sign up online to be a part of that. Then Friday, Good Friday, we're going to have a noon service. And then on Holy Saturday at 8.30 in the morning, uh, there's a little small office for that quiet and deadest of times. And we're going to be uh, doing that. You can tune in through the stream. The Great Vigil of Easter will be Saturday night at 7, and then, of course, Easter Sunday will be at 10 o'clock. I hope you'll be a part of all these things. I know that your, your spirit and your spiritual lives will be mightily strengthened through this pandemic time. I also want to bring up a little bit to what we're calling Passing the Peace, and that is our being in touch with everybody in the parish. We have been in touch with over 500 families, and the parish has been mobilized to help so many of you. I just encourage you, if you need help, and I don't mean this just for the elders of the community, that you please be in touch with us. Beth Ralston of our staff is coordinating that. You can get in touch with Beth through the website uh, or by calling the office. Now, I'd just like to have a word about uh, the Easter offering. I hope that you will lean into the Easter offering if that's possible. I so realize that we are in difficult economic times <laughs> Many of you uh, are on hold in your work, and those of you who are not in hold uh, are in businesses uh, where money is not coming in. But if you do have the resources to the glory of God and in thanksgiving of the resurrection, for the resurrection, for a loved one, uh, in hope for uh, uh, an offering to us now would be particularly helpful. Uh, the Easter offering is built into our budget. It's part of how we do our business together, and yet there will be nobody in the pews, of course. Uh, and this helps to fund all of the work of the parish. It helps to fund our streaming, 
It helps to fund the passing, the peace, and it also, of course, helps to fund our uh, reaching out with our discretionary fund to give money for those who are most in need. There are three ways that you can do this. One is uh, by filling out an envelope, remember those things, and sending a check. God bless you uh, for all of you who have already done that. In addition, you can go through our website, and on the right side, there is a Give button that pulls you down, and you can follow the instructions there. In addition, you can text 73256. I feel like saying 1-800-CARS-FOR-KIDS, 73256. Did I say 73256? How annoying that I would keep saying 73256. But if you do hit 73256 on your phone and type in St. Mark's, it'll bring you to a tab uh, where you can also make your Easter offering. It can be easy as can be. Now, finally, uh, a moment of solemnity here to say, I'm sure you're all in touch with the fact that we are in for a tough week and in for a tough couple of weeks here in Fairfield County. I ask you for the love of God to do the right thing. Please, please do not take extra trips. Please, please wash your hands without seizing and <laughs> almost until your skin falls off, wash your hands. Be safe for your good and for the common good. And also, I know you're already doing it, for we are people of prayer, but please double up your prayers, not only for yourself, not only for your loved ones, but for all those in the world. Because now, most assuredly, Maranatha, come Lord Christ. We need our Lord to come and support us during this time. So peace, blessings. Can't wait to see you face to face, but thanks for tuning in to my face. See you soon.